Welcome to the Whiskey Bowl. <laughs> I'm dead. They don't know why you're laughing because I, 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 I cut out the thing. I can't help it. We started this video all wrong and it was Rex's fault. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. Never. <laughs> uh, today we we're today? drinking a gift where uh, Chris Smallwood donated a bottle, oh, right but okay. Max Huss donated cash to buy this specific bottle. Oh. Two different people. Money and whiskey? I know, right? We're just fat and So sassy. we actually had already bought the bottle right. that Max Huss donated for. So I'm gonna yell, I'm gonna yell Chris Smallwood, and you yell the other guy. Max Huss. Chris Smallwood! Max Huss! You magnificent! <laughs> Time is all off, hang on a second. One, two, three. Chris Max Smallwood, Huss, you, you magnificent! magnificent bastard! bastard. I went on the intentional delay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I saw uh, words on here. I'm excited about this one. I'm, I'm a little... Bequizzled. Titillated? Well, well, hold on. I'm not above some cream. Okay. I enjoy the delicious cream. Yeah, but I think it's a bad name. I mean, it dates back a hundred plus years. Hold on. But it's called Highland Cream just because it's like the cream of the crop. Put the, your nose in there. The, the, the note you give is not cream. No, no, it's going to be peat smoke. Yeah. You know why? Because hmm. it's a heavily peated single malt. I don't know, man. That, like, I, I appreciate the history. Or blended scotch. I said single malt. Blended scotch. It's coming from heavily peated single I malt. I appreciate the, the history. Right. But in terms of the Phonetics clarity, and branding and the clarity, clarity yes. of what people are reaching for, yes. they're going to grab the cream and think it's going to be like a sweet little desserty creamy thing. If they're new to it, but this brand in, in Scotland dates back forever. It's a well-known thing. Okay. So they've gotten over it. Now, yeah. if you want to expand the brand, you're going to have to talk about how this is not like Bailey's Irish cream, right? but Highland Scotch version. Okay. This so, is actual blended Scotch. So let's give the notes. On the, the nose, yes, Pete, but it is kind of a... Uh, a light, bright, almost a thin. This isn't like heavy, thick, oily peat on the nose. No, it's like a it's like a light wood ash. Yeah. But it's not dry ashy because all the other notes are this honeyed flowers. Uh, I'm getting not dry ashy. I am getting like a dry earth though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely a highland peat. It's not an Isla like like briny peat. Right. Right. Not that savory. Meaty. No. 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 It's earthy. And then it's gonna be a low. Uh, low Proof. Yeah, and then a honeyed malt kind of note. This is a 43% ABV. Yeah. I really like the nose on this, actually. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, you you don't often get Pete with this kind of presentation. Oh, hey, I kind of like that. Like, keep in mind, this is a budget whiskey. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Right? So some budget peat smoke. Yes. And for budget peat smoke, okay, so I just lowered the bar for tasting this in my head because I know it's budget. Right. So let's start from scratch. If I was just tasting this as a peated malt, right. it's a little too thin. It is. It's brittle, mm -hmm. kind of vanilla shiny, yep. and then with this little uh, earthy ash yep. note on the end of it. There's no gravity to that, to that smoke. There's no weight. There's no, yeah, there's no density. There's no heft. There's mm -hmm. no real body to it. It's there. It's kind of floating all through it. But, but it's mostly sweet. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Now, re-switching gears. Within context. Budget whiskey. Which there's, honestly, when it comes to budget bottlings, things with peat smoke, like a meaningful yeah. amount, a recognizable amount of peat smoke, those are few and far between. I've got one that I want to, there's two things I want to try with this. Okay. Are you ready for that? I'm so definitely not ready. Uh, the Isla I'm pretty blended malt of Isla Distilleries, Isla uh -huh. Mist or yeah. something like that. Because then that's another smoky yeah. blend. Go grab that thing. Right. Now, after you get a sip in you, and you go back to the nose, there's almost this uh, like forest greenery. Yeah. I wanted to try black bottle. Oh. Because it's got some peat in it. Oh, yeah. Right? So first, black bottle. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to give you a little more context to teachers for the next comparison. Okay. So, black bottle. Has less peat. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm, ironically, Black Bottle, not anymore, but was famous for being Isla and Smoky. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, teachers is so much better okay. than this bottling of Black Bottle. 
that's sweet and caramel with just well, a little bit of a pepper spice. If you're looking for peat smoke. If you're looking for a, and I am. Okay. I'm always looking for a budget peat smoke. Right. Because the problem with budget scotch is so often budget scotch leans pretty. Yeah. And so finding a, a smoky scotch mm -hmm. that's also budget. If I wanted something sweet and effortless in background, so mm -hmm. I could just be watching like some type of movie, I'm um, not even thinking about it, I would probably be reaching for the black bottle. I don't know what ice would do to that peat. It may make it kind of bitter and bury this. I don't know. Ah, who knows? I don't, I don't know but, if there's but, enough oil in that. For... But I would be reaching for the black bottle between the two. Mm. If I were looking for peat, though, you have to go with the teachers. I would be re definitely reaching for teachers. Mm. Okay, now the other comparison I want to do yeah. no, is that... Get, get, get your nose back in that teachers. It's almost like a mulch now. I know. Yeah. It's earthy peat. Yeah. Like a dry earth, though, not... Not deep, dark, rich, heavy soil. Dancing. The largest percentage of malt in this is supposedly still, to this day, Ardmore. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So we know what's, what uh, goes into this. Yes. Oh, right on. If I can find it here. For unique character and full flavor, said every whiskey ever. All right. Lightly peated Ardmore. Okay. That's what we're trying this with. All right. Uh, what region was that? Highland. Okay. Ah, I like that Ardmore. Right? I like that. They're, you know, they're cousins. Oh, yeah. The Ardmore, what was the proof on that, by the way? That's 40% uh, ABV. Oh. Yeah, try that. I actually prefer the teachers again. I like this Ardmore. I've always liked it. It's just a little sweet and a little floral. Not a lot of peppery. A little hint of that. There's more body. Yeah. The, yeah. There's more body. There's more depth, but it's a simple depth. In the art more. It's not complexity, it's just thicker. It's denser. I like the art more. I like the art more too. Uh, but I think I like it better than the mm. than, than the teachers. I can't believe how well this teacher <coughs> is doing for me right now. Right. I'm kind of I'm kind of amazed. You're a little bequizzled. I'm a. We yeah. came in bequizzled. I'm kerfuffled. We're currently bequizzled and kerfuffled. So we've got two today. Oh man. Two memorial comments. Oh, good. oh man. Oh. We wanted to get in. Oh good. Oh, uh, and I think doing it with a Scottish whiskey, yeah. it seems fitting. Sure. So we'll end the video this way. We got Ray Benedict first of all. Ray Benedict's daughter. This is your, these are my notes. A synopsis that he posted in Facebook. He uh, he lost his daughter in her sleep at age 26. And as Sarah. we do in the tribe, we raise a glass to honor the fallen to Sarah. Mm. Ah. And then Ed the Mule. Ed the Mule. He's the mule, by the way. He is, yeah. So Ed the Mule, his father, Edwin Wittenberg Jr., passed away on Monday the 27th, went by Merlin as his nickname. So here's to Merlin. To Merlin. And Cheers. his very storied life. You have to have a storied life with a name like To be like called Merlin, Merlin absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, surprisingly good offerings. Still land on teachers. Thank you, Smallwood. Uh, is Ardenmore getting near the budget line? N uh, not budget, not but really? it's not shockingly expensive. Okay. Yeah, it's at least double. Oh, teachers. Oh, well, then I would have to think. Do about you it. like it double? I don't like it double. Okay. I don't like it double. I like it a rock solid 37.2% more. That's very accurate, yeah. Yeah. Accuracy is the goal on this It's what I'm known for. Yes, yes. yes. My accuracy. <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.